Hey, what's up, everybody? We got uh, same differences here. We got Kurt and Joseph, and today we're going to talk about a, a plenty of different topics. Um, but I wanted to get started right into this topic of Hollywood and the uh, the whitewashing, uh, what is what it's called, of of specific characters, either from books, comics, whatever kind of different medium, and then when they appear on the screen. If they were of Mexican, black, Asian descent, whatever, um, and then they are portrayed by a white character. The most recent um, controversy about this was just a few days ago, actually, with uh, this Hellboy movie that's getting made. Um, apparently, they brought on an actor who was white to play a Japanese, if I'm not mistaken, uh, character from the comics. All right. And there was such uh, outcry and backlash over this. The actor actually quit the movie because he said it was the right thing to do. Yeah, so Ed Skrein and the character is Japanese American, something like that. But it's not the first time we've seen this backlash. The most recent one before that was Tilda Swinton cast as the ancient one in Doctor Strange. And he had people, I know people who didn't even see the movie because it was it was such an insult even though they didn't even read a damn doctor strange comic book ever so and i know i've never read a hellboy comic book ever yeah it doesn't really make much of a difference to me so you think there's sort of a a mom mentality with this kind of thing no i'm not saying that they're uh completely you know unjustified but what what's the biggest you know you know what does it how important is it to the character with the ancient one i can understand that that can be changed it doesn't necessarily have to be an asian person the ancient one can be anyone anything at any time um but when you have something for instance uh, the Last Airbender. We talked about that movie, and you have an entire series of that's built around Asian culture, Asian society, Asian characters. The characters in the in the Nickelodeon cartoon are darker toned, and then there's an immediate contrast when the three main protagonists are just the whitest kids you could find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a problem. That's different, and plus, it's a bad movie and. Poorly acted and, and just poorly written. That's piss poor. But then yeah. Dr. Strange, Tilda Swinton, I thought she did a great job as the agent one. She yeah. was mysterious. She was, she she could have been, she was amber de- not ambidextrous. Um, androgynous. Character. Androgynous, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I personally don't care as long as, you know, if, if the movie's going to be good. Um, now, like you said, with, um, the last Airbender. There are some pretty blatant. What about uh, Jake Gyllenhaal as the Prince of Persia? Yeah, that, I was just going to bring that up. You know, you had, <laughs> you know, uh, that I mean, you have Jake Gyllenhaal as as the Prince of Persia. You have Johnny Depp as uh, and, Tonto. And, as Tonto, <laughs> um, Ben Affleck in Argo. Uh, his the character is Hispanic. Uh, you know, things like that. I, I mean, it. Uh, but I mean, it, remind, same... it reminds me of that Paul Mooney joke on the, the Chappelle show. First, they had the Mexican with Brad Pitt, and now they've got the Last Samurai with Tom Cruise. Well, I've written the film. Maybe they'll maybe they'll produce my film, The Last Quack. on Earth, oh. starring Tom Hanks. How about that? <laughs> I I just don't understand. You know, I mean that Finn. Fant Four Stick movie that came out a few years ago where they where they had um, Michael B. Jordan as uh, Human Torch. Right. I I mean I didn't, I can honestly say I haven't watched the movie, but seeing it, I had no problem with it. I, you know, he's a good actor. Um, I I haven't seen the movie, so I can't comment on whether or not he did a good job. But I I had no problem with it. I mean, I did see the movie. It didn't bother me that he was cast as uh, Johnny Storm. It was different. It was a different, you know, take on it. Some people were bothered by it because you just you're always gonna have those diehard loyalists that 
like you pointed out before that want everything to be exactly replicated from the source material and you know they'll complain about you know, a hair being out of place according to page 15 of issue 36 back in 1960 whatever yeah i remember with uh daredevil when michael clark duncan was kingpin right 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 and there i knew some people that you know well kingpin's white i was like yeah well good luck finding someone the size uh you know without making them look ridiculous well they did for the tv series i know but i mean that, that's however many years later and and He's incredible, but Michael Clark Duncan, I thought, did really well as a kingpin, too, for what it's worth. I mean, so this whole idea, you know, and again, you know, this guy said he, he quit because it was the right thing to do. I mean, that's his choice. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I've never read a Hellboy comic book. I've, I've seen both of the movies. I'm... Uh, it would not have affected me in any way because um, I wouldn't know anything about the characters other than Hellboy. So uh, this idea that, you know, maybe for some people, you know, like you said, you had um, you knew people that just even refused to, to view Doctor Strange just because of one character mm -hmm. not being of, you know, a certain descent. Um, to me, that just wouldn't ruin the entire movie. I've never... I don't know. I, I think people have a problem with the history of it. The history of whitewashing. And it, I guess it brings, be, brings up just bad feelings for, for what it used to be back in the day. You know, with people with black face and red face, even yellow face. And... But... And it's not like there are a lack of Asian actors now or, you know, minority actors now. It's just what is the I, I would have to it would come down to what was the reasoning for the for the choice of casting. I, mean, I don't know. We'll see with Black Panther. Yeah, it's pretty much pretty much an all black cast. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, other than uh, other than the villain and maybe some other, you know, extra, you know, just nobody's in the film pretty much. I think it'd be great. I mean, yeah, I don't care. I'm not. I'm not going to go to a movie and and be like, oh, there's no white people. This is this is <laughs> absurd. You know, like, you have to be a moron to to, to look. You know, but um, I, hope, I hope. I just hope it's a good movie. That's all I think. Anytime you go to the movies, because one, the prices of movies are so outrageous and inflated, especially if you go to a a halfway decent theater. Now, the one like where you live, that, that nice AMC theater, you know, you're talking, what, 10, 11 bucks for a ticket. Uh, you know, last time you and I went to go watch Dark Tower, I bought myself a drink and you a drink, and it was $13. Yeah. So <laughs> you're looking at, you're looking at, you know, spending a pretty decent amount of money, mm -hmm. and then an hour and 45 to two and a half hour, two and a half hours of your time. You know, um, well, that was so. a, you bring up Dark Tower. That was another movie that wasn't the protagonist in the book, a white man. Yeah. And they cast the Idris Elba. Yeah. And some and he did great. wrong with that, but he did it. pretty good in there, huh? He did damn good. Yeah, he did good. He did damn good. They had you a know. problem with him being uh, Heimdall. Is that his name? In Thor? Heimdall, yeah. yeah. Who, I mean, come on, man. It's. <sighs> So even though it's a minor role, well, it, it, the, the reverse is true. So I think Hollywood has done a, a little bit better job of, you know, of doing yeah. the reverse in roles. Yeah. But I guess when they, uh, I don't know, they, when they mess up, some it, it just gets blown up uh, beyond, you know, what it should be. I mean, how big a role was this guy's uh, character in Hellboy, you think? He's like just some side character. Exactly. He'd have been on screen maybe <laughs> two minutes or something. He you know? probably died within the first fifteen minutes. Yeah, I mean you look at you look at Suicide Squad, Will Smith is is what is it, Floyd Lawton or whatever, right? However yeah. you pronounce his name. Deadshot's a white guy. Mm -hmm. I mean now all of a sudden I mean so but it worked, right? I mean we were all kind of dreading Will Smith you know That's being right. him. But it worked, it was great.
That's because we didn't want the Fresh Prince. Right, I didn't want Will Smith playing Will Smith <laughs> as Deadshot. So, um, but it worked. I mean, he did. I thought he did pretty good. His lines were fairly limited. So, some people I mean, it, have a have a problem with there being a lack of diversity. In I guess that's another issue that it comes down to, uh, the lack of diversity in Hollywood. And they look. They point at shows like Game of Thrones. They like to pick on Game of Thrones for having a lack of diversity in the cast. Not saying they don't have any minorities, which they have had, but they. I guess it's not enough in their eyes. But you're dealing with a story that's set in a Europe that's inspired by a European medieval history yeah. and lore. So you're probably, you're not going to see very much diversity <laughs> in actual, you know. Exactly. It's, it, it's not real. It's, you know. What's happening? Where y'all going? To the beheading. They're executing the leader of the rebellion. Y'all went all out. Y'all got the... You said that way? You know, just get over yourself. There's a, you know, but then there's the opposite end of that where there's diversity is forced on you, right? With this mm -hmm. whole like all new, all different Marvel. Oh, with yeah. It's basically changing characters just for no other good reason than to just go, hey, look, we're, ooh, we're, we're different. We have Asians and we have black people and we're yeah, not, we have a couple white people and not, we have not, like, not just races and ethnicities, but you know, females yeah. taking on traditional male roles or replacing male characters with females replacing adults with children and it again i have no problem with it as long as it makes sense and it's done tastefully and it's not just done just because we you know you're trying to like you're trying to please everyone and everything you know just stick to your guns if you want to do away with you know tony stark fine do it kill him Right, but do it the right way. And if you want to replace somebody or replace him as Iron Man with somebody else, again, do it the right way. If it's going to be, you know, the the black woman, then fine. But don't just all of a sudden one issue go up. Oh, we have a new Iron Man. Well, yeah, it's Iron Man exactly. now. Exactly. There's so, no legacy there. They did it. They rushed it, and and the readers were and fans were just supposed to embrace it and buy up all the comics just because there was this new revolution out there of, of diversity and sexism or anti-sexism and equality and stuff. But, and that's all cool. No one, no one's against that, but we don't know these people. We don't know these new characters. There's no history there. Whereas you knew, to you, we've known Tony Stark for over 30 years. Longer than that. I'm he snapped, but he's gone. Yeah. I mean, we're just it, supposed to, you know, accept a new, totally new. It's a, it, it's the fact that they're strangers, yeah. pretty much. I mean, it's like you know, Captain America, Steve Rogers dies, and you have Sam Wilson take over. Great, cool. They're buddies. You know, it would only makes sense for him to want to take the mantle up for his fallen friend. Mm -hmm. You know, he's an American patriot, war hero, all that stuff. Yeah, makes sense. That made sense. But it would have been, you know, oh, Steve Rogers is dead. Hey, anybody in the crowd want to be kind of... <laughs> Like, no, man. Just can't force it on us. So, I don't know, man. There, there's so much of this going on today. It's, it's hard to talk about without some people getting offended and stepped on toes. But yeah, I just thought it was an interesting thing that, that the guy actually quit over it. That's something I've never, I don't think I recall seeing any actor do especially you know uh turning down a payday like that but i mean hey if he felt it was the right decision good on him